I've been taking questions from uh, YouTube, gaming related questions and topics. So uh, I, I just did a video on one which was worst games per system or per console. So we just did that. So here's another one. This is from Finton and he asks, what is your flagship game for each console that meant the most to you? Now, so this is an interesting question because it's not quite about what my favorite game is. It's more like what I consider what was the big popular game that each system had. With that said, uh, I want to answer this question two different ways to cover all the grounds. So first I'm going to answer what I think the flagship game on each given console is. And then I'm going to give you some of my own personal favorites for each. And again, this is subject to change. On a different day, I might give a different answer. Like in a month from now, if you ask me the same thing, I might say something else. But, And you guys, I want you to help me along with this, you guys in the live stream chat right now, because I might be like a little off with some of these. So I'm going to start with NES, let's say. So I'm going to say that the flagship game was Super Mario Brothers. Now, would anybody disagree with that? Super Mario Brothers is pretty much the flagship game for the NES, right? Uh, if you disagree, let me know. And I'm going to say that probably, if I have to pick, and I usually answer this, my favorite game for the NES is, would probably be Zelda or Zelda 2. There's plenty of games that I like. I like Ninja Gaiden 3, I like Batman, and so on and so forth. But So that's what we're doing here. Flagship game, favorite game, okay? They all agree that it's Mar Super Mario Brothers is the flagship game. All right, so moving on, let's do Atari 2600. So flagship game, I had to think about this. It was packaged with combat. So I was going to say combat or maybe Space Invaders. I don't know if there's another game out there that we that, you know we consider the flagship game for Atari, but I, I'd probably say maybe co combat. The 2600, not talking about arcade or anything. Somebody said Demons to Diamonds, right. Uh, adventure? Maybe. Maybe. That's not a bad answer. Um, somebody said Pitfall. Pitfall, maybe. That, that could possibly be. And then my favorite Atari 2600 game would be Kaboom for Atari 2600. My favorite. And I think it's still to this day, uh, you can't replicate it without playing it on an actual 2600 because of those paddles and because of exactly the way it was programmed and whatever you have to play that on a 2600 for it to be any good so super nintendo super nintendo flagship game super mario world does anybody disagree with that all right they, they're saying nailed it super metroid maybe really though more the super mario world you know okay so that's probably the flagship game um my favorite though my favorite super nintendo game super mario kart I've played more Super Mario Kart than anything. That's a game you gotta play with other people though, and you gotta play with somebody that's like about at your skill level. You ready for Sega Genesis? Flagship game, I put down uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Easy, right? These get more difficult as we go, okay? And everybody in the chat's saying Sonic, okay. Fa my favorite is probably Contra Hardcore. Uh, I also like Rocket Knight a lot, and there's a there's a bunch, and there's a lot of shmups. There's a lot of Genesis games that I like, but if I had to pick one, I'm probably going to pick Contra Hardcore, okay? Let's see. Where was I? I was on Nintendo 64. Okay. Flagship game for Nintendo 64, I would say, would be Super Mario 64, right? Uh, a lot of people are saying Mario Kart 64, but a lot of people did say Mario 64. Okay, so either Mario Kart or Mario 64... Some people are saying GoldenEye. So, like, one of those is probably the flagship game. Okay. But my favorite is probably... I put down either Rogue Squadron or Wave Race. Those are probably the ones that I have the most fun with. That's what I thought of as far as games that I really like. There's a bunch. There's a bunch of others. And then also there's Super Smash, Super Smash Brothers. But we're going to go to PlayStation. PS1. PS1. So this, is, so this is where I need the chat's help a lot. I wrote down a couple games, and tell me if I'm missing one. Like, maybe there's a flagship game that you think of. Again, this is like, when you think of the system, it's the first thing that comes to your mind. So I, so I thought of a few. Uh, 
Final Fantasy VII, Symphony of the Night, and Crash Bandicoot were the things that popped into my mind, like when I think of PS1. Wasn't my favorite, though. My favorite, I was going to pick Gradius Gaiden as my favorite. But as far as flagship games, let's see what uh, people say. Yep, they said Crash Bandicoot. Wipeout, some people are saying. Tomb Raider was another one. Okay. That's true. Metal Gear Solid, maybe. Yeah. Now we're going to do Dreamcast. All right, flagship game. I wrote down Sonic Adventure or Crazy Taxi. Now, is there one that you think I'm missing? For Dreamcast. Like when you first think of Dreamcast, what do you think of? House of the Dead, Shenmue, okay. Jet Set Radio, Power Stone, right. So there's kind of like a lot for that, right? So anyway, so some of those could be the flagship game, right? Some of these kind of have multiple answers. Uh, my favorite though, I thought about this for a little while. Um, I feel like my favorite is Border Down. It's a really interesting shmup. And I just, I like love that game. So that's gonna be my answer for favorite. Now we're gonna move to TurboGrafx-16. Flagship game, I put down Bonk's Adventure. I might also think of like Keith Courage or something like that. So that's what I have for, for TurboGrafx-16. Legendary Axe, more so than Bonk though. I think it's probably Bonk on that one. As far as my favorites go, uh, Star Soldier and Blazing Lasers is what I have down for favorites. That's what I thought of. Now let's do PC Engine though. So in Japan, right, the flagship game, I felt, I put down Rondo of Blood, but this is definitely one where you guys could help me with. Maybe there's a more interesting um, answer for the flagship PC Engine game. But like that, I couldn't really think more than that. So people are in the chat, a lot of people are saying Wise, other no, Wise known as Ease, or as I call it, uh, Ease it into my ass. Um, favorite for PC Engine, probably Rondo Blood or uh, Soldier Blade. Those are probably my favorites for PC Engine. Um, there's a lot of shmups on there that I like. We can go down the list of good PC Engine shmups all day, but. All right, let's move on. We're gonna do uh, GameCube, all right? Flagship game for GameCube. All right, I wrote down Smash Brothers Melee. Wind Waker, somebody said. Oh, and I guess it would also be like uh, Mario Sunshine, right? That'd be like another big one. Or what about uh, like Luigi's Mansion, maybe? These are ones I'm thinking of. Let's see what people are saying. Double Dash, hey, that's pretty good. Resident Evil 4, okay. So, yeah, several answers for Resident Evil 4. Now remember, this isn't favorite. This is like the first thing you think of when you think of GameCube. My favorite uh, would be either Super Monkey Ball or F-Zero GX. Those are my favorites. As much as I love Super Monkey Ball, I would not call that the flagship game for the GameCube. I think, I, I really think for GameCube, it would have to really be Smash Brothers Melee. I mean, that's a game that people still run tournaments for to this day and whatever. I just, I feel like it's Melee, but. Okay, let's do Xbox. Flagship game I have for the original Xbox. I wrote down Halo. So again, you guys can help me with this. Uh, is there something that would be more of a flagship title on Xbox than Halo? Everybody, every single person wrote down Halo. <laughs> okay. Um, that's funny. So, and then my favorite would probably be Ninja Gaiden Black. Uh, excellent game. We'll do Xbox 360 now. This is the one, okay, this one I really had a hard time trying to think of what the flagship game would be. I was thinking like, they were really pushing the Kinect back then, like all the Kinect stuff, but I couldn't think of like a great answer for it. The chat's saying Gears of War. Okay, Gears of War, there you go. I'll probably, I'll put that down. My favorite, though, uh, I'm gonna probably say either Dark Souls or Red Dead Redemption, which I just played through recently. I also really like that Dante's Inferno. Sega Master System now, all right? Flagship game, I wrote down Alex Kidd and Miracle World, okay? That's the first thing I think of, definitely. When I think of, that's de for me, that's like definitely the first thing I think of. Let's see what you guys think for Sega Master System. Gavellius, okay. That's a pretty good answer. I, I, you know what, I think about that too, honestly. A lot, a lot of people talk about that. Yeah, that's what I answer to Alex Kidd. 
yeah, people are pretty much saying that looks good. Okay. And then my favorite, what did I wrote down? Okay, so my favorite for Sega Master System, I was trying to think, and there might be a better answer than this, but I thought a Land of Illusion. So my thing is, a lot of those Disney games, I end up like, either they're like ridiculously hard, or I end up like not really liking them like all that much, especially like some like the Mickey Manias and like the when they try to make that one on like what was it like Wii or whatever the. Uh, um, what was that Mickey Mouse game that they tried to make a big deal and I ended up not liking it? Somebody help me out. What the hell is that name of that big Mickey Mouse game? Epic Mickey. Thank you. Thank you, Super Frankie. I didn't. I, I wanted to like Epic Mickey and then I played it and I was like, ugh. And it, it, unfortunately, it wasn't like great. And, but Land of Illusion, um, of, of all those Illusion games, that on Sega Master System, that's the one that I think is really, really good. So Sega Master System has that. So that's what I said. Now we're going to jump to Sega CD, okay? I wrote down, and I might be wrong here, I'm not, an, I'm not a Sega CD expert. As the years go by, I'd like to learn more about Sega CD. I need to play more Sega CD games. Um, I wrote down Sonic CD. Do you think that there's something more um, than Sonic CD? Snatcher. Okay. Well, a lot of people are answering Sonic CD, so I guess I kind of got that right. So as far as favorites, you guys know I like shmups. So I, I wrote down the Flying Squadron. Let's do Wii. Let's do Wii. Flagship game. I put down Wii Sports. Maybe Wii Fit. Something like that. I put down Wii Sports. So what do you guys got? Everybody's saying Wii Sports. The, the bunch of people said Wii Sports. One person said Twilight Princess. Everybody pretty much says Wii Sports, though. Okay, so I got that one right. Now my favorite for Wii, I like the rail shooters. You guys know that. I like that Ghost Squad. I like that Sin and Punishment too. Like the House of the Dead shit. All that. All those rail shooting stuff. That's what I like on Wii. I, I found. So that's that's what I like. All right. Sega Saturn. So I I had a hard time thinking. I thought for a while on this. So what I came up with for flagship on this was Night into Dreams or Nights into Dreams or whatever. Do you think that there's something that could be more of a flagship title for Sega Saturn? Daytona. Hey. Mr. Foodski. That's pretty good. Virtua Fighter, some people are saying. Okay. Panzer Dragoon. Okay. See, I played that, I think, on Xbox. I guess it was, that was on both, right? Like Xbox and, and that and Sega Saturn. See, I always think Xbox for that. All right, so for favorite, though, I wrote down Layer Section slash Ray Force. Moving on. We did Wii. Let's do Wii U. So Wii U, I wrote down flagship games as Mario Kart 8 or Mario 3D World. You guys got anything else for Wii U? What would be a flagship game on Wii U? Oh, Mario Maker! I didn't think of that. Shit. There you go. See, this is why I'm having the chat help me out with this. I, I don't know why I didn't think of that. There you go. And then, uh... Skyward Sword, okay. As far as favorites, I put down NES Remix. <laughs> I, like, I like really like that NES Remix shit. And I think you could only play that on the Wii, on the Wii U. They're, <laughs> they're saying laughing my ass off. Hey, you know me and my NES stuff. <laughs> yeah, they are great, but they're on 3DS as well. Oh, are they on 3, 3DS? What do you guys like as your favorite? If you guys had to pick a favorite game on uh, Wii U, what would it be? Reno Gaming says that he loves NES Remix. I think they're great. Big Boyder says Zelda 2 on Virtual Console on Wii U. Oh yeah, that's also my favorite Wii U game. <laughs> Me too. No, I, I'm being very like unfair right now to the Wii U. I actually really like the Wii U. For example, everybody like loves Mario Kart 8 so much. It's a Wii U game. A lot of those games that got remastered to Switch, those are Wii U games. A lot of those. So, I know a lot of people didn't own the system, but there were a lot of good games on it. 
Big Boyder says, but the Switch isn't a disgusting piece of plastic. Oh, well, you know what? Actually, have, have you seen, have you seen this? Have you seen, have you ever seen this before? I, I beg, I beg to differ. All right, so that was Wii U. Let's move on. Let's do ColecoVision. So, flagship game <laughs> for the ColecoVision. I put down Smurfs. Is there something that would be more of a flagship game for the ColecoVision? Donkey Kong? Okay, Montezuma's Revenge. I like that game. There you go. They're saying no, it's Smurfs. Okay. Donkey Kong, so Donkey Kong probably or Smurfs. Okay. My favorite game that I put down is Oil's Well. That's the game where you start at the top and you gotta like go down the sort of trenches to the bottom. It's kind of like that like Anteater game, right? That's a good game. Let's move on. Let's do the Vectrix. We're, we're doing them all. Vectrix. Flagship game is Mindstorm because that's the pack-in game. It came on the Vectrix. Mr. Sallykin says the what? Uh, the Vectrix, the best video game console ever made. You might want to look it up. And I'm really not, I'm honestly not even being sarcastic with that. If I had to pick like my fucking favorite video game console, it's probably the Vectrix. Like maybe even over the NES. So you might want to look that one up. Um, and then favorite game, I really like Pole Position and Star Castle on there. That's my favorites on there. So, uh, we're gonna move on. Atari Jaguar. It's like a mini arcade cabinet, right? It, it is, except it's like vector graphics. It's like having vector graphics at home. It's the coolest thing you could ever have. Uh, Jaguar, Atari Jaguar. So I said the flagship game, again, I had trouble with this one, so you guys can help me. Flagship, I said Cybermorph or Alien vs. Predator. I might be wrong on this one. Maybe you guys can help me out. They, actually, everybody is kind of saying Alien vs. Predator, so I guess I got that right. Um, it probably would, I guess, would it not be Cybermorph? I guess just Alien, nobody said that, so maybe I'm wrong on that. So just Alien vs. Predator then, let's say that. My favorite game, though, on the Jaguar, if I had to pick one, is uh, Tempest 2000. Tempest 2000 as my favorite Atari Jaguar game, okay? Just got a couple left here. Flagship game now for Sega 32X. The ones I thought of were uh, Knuckles Chaotix and Star Wars Arcade. Let's see if the chat can come up with that. Like, when you think of the 32X, what do you think of? Doom? Okay, that's a good one. Any others? Sonic 32X. A toilet, <laughs> right? Uh, I wrote down my favorite. I, had, I struggled with this, because 32X hasn't usually really been my thing, but uh, Virtual Racing is fun. That's what I came up with. I don't know. And as far as Doom goes, like, I'd always rather play Doom just, like, on a PC. I, I, you know? So it's kind of like... Yeah. Um, and then, uh, last one. Uh, I mean, I might, might have missed a few consoles here, but th this is enough anyway. So I'm going to do the Neo Geo AES as the last one. So flagship game. I wrote down Metal Slug 3. Or Metal Slug. There's probably a fighting game. See, I'm not, that, this is where the chat can help me. I, I bet there's a fighting game that's like, what's the biggest fighting game on there, you know? You guys can help me out. Samurai Showdown, is that, that yeah. I think I, ha I own that, actually. I don't play it, though. Yeah, there, there's there, King of Fighters, Samurai Showdown, okay. But what would you, Fatal Fury, oh yeah, that's the other one. So so one of those would be like the flagship game, right? Metal Slug or Fatal Fury or Samurai Showdown. Is there anything else you guys would think would be a flagship game for Neo Geo AES that we haven't mentioned? Art of Fighting. Okay. So, and then as far as my favorites go, for Neo Geo AES, uh, I have uh, Shock Troopers, 
Windjammers, which is really fun. I'm not like a sports game guy, but that one gets me. Like that game is a fun game. Uh, and then uh, once again, I'm not a sports guy, but Neo Turf Masters, like, you know that golfing game. That shit's fun, and I, I'm, I don't even care about golf. That's how that's how good that is. That that game would make me get into golf, and I, I don't care about golf. <laughs> like that's the mark of a goddamn good game. If you can get me into golf, then you then you got something. So that's what I have down for uh, favorite games. Anyway, so that's 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 it. Uh, if you have more thoughts about any of this, you can leave a comment on this on YouTube. Um, so. I'm, I take these questions from YouTube mostly, so if you see this later and it's on YouTube, leave a comment below. We can do this again. If you can think of any gaming topics for me to answer on stream live here with the chat, let me know. And just to clarify, uh, some people seem to be a little confused because I've done this before now, and some people think that I'm asking for suggestions. Like some people, some some people are just like leaving suggestions for things for me to stream. That's not what this is. I want a topic or a question about video games, and then when I start streaming, when I start my live streams, I'll answer the question. So it's not about suggestions; it's about topics. So let me know. Leave a comment below, and I'm gonna get back to the stream now.